Unit 1, Lesson 3, Reasoning to Find Area. Number 1. Find the area of each shaded region. Show your reasoning. A. I've broken this shape down into three different shapes. The rectangle on the left is two units wide by five units tall. The rectangle in the middle is two units wide by four units tall. And the square on the right side is two units wide by two units tall. 10 plus 8 plus 4. The area of shape A is 22 square units. B. This shape can be looked at as a square with a side length of 6 and two smaller squares that were removed. So 6 times 6 minus 2 times 2 minus 2 times 2 equals 36 minus 4 minus 4. The area of B is 28 square units. C. Draw a line down the middle of this symmetrical shape and you'll notice two identical shapes. If you stack this shape on the right on top of the shape on the left, you'll have a rectangle. The dimensions would be six units for the height and three units for the width. The area for C is 18 square units. Number two, find the area of each shaded region. Show or explain your reasoning. A, this shape is almost a square. Imagine it is a square that's 6 by 6, and it's missing a section that's 2 by 4. The area of the shaded region is 28 square centimeters. B. This shape is a rectangle that's 8 by 5, and cut out of the middle of it is a rectangle that's 2 by 3. 8 times 5 minus 2 times 3. The area of the shaded region is 34 square centimeters. C. Here we have a rectangle with dimensions 15 by 10 and a smaller rectangle cut out of the inside with dimensions 6 by 9. The area of the shaded region is 96 square centimeters. D. When you decompose this symmetrical shape, you can form a rectangle that has dimensions of 8 by 5. The area of the shaded region is 40 square centimeters. Number 3. Two plots of land have very different shapes. Noah said that both plots of land have the same area. Do you agree with Noah? Explain your reasoning. Yes, I agree with Noah. After decomposing plot B, I was able to compose plot B into the same exact shape as plot A. Number 4. A homeowner is deciding on the size of tiles to use to fully tile a rectangular wall in her bathroom that is 80 inches by 40 inches. The tiles are squares and come in three side lengths, 8 inches, 4 inches, and 2 inches. State if you agree with each statement about the tiles. Explain your reasoning. I do not agree with A, because the smaller the tiles, the more tiles will be needed. B. Regardless of the size she chooses, the area of the wall that is being tiled is the same. Yes, I agree with this statement, because the size of the wall will not change. She will need two 2 inch tiles to cover the same area as one 4 inch tile? No, because four 2 inch tiles fit inside a 4 inch tile. She will need four 4 inch tiles to cover the same area as one 8 inch tile. That's true because four 4 inch tiles fit inside one 8 inch tile. If she chooses the 8 inch tiles, she will need a quarter as many tiles as she would with 2 inch tiles. That's not true. Because 16 2 inch squares fit inside one 8 inch square, she would need 1 16th as many 8 inch squares as she would 2 inch squares. 